Hello friends and welcome to the Wonder of the Seas. This is the biggest and boldest ship with the Royal Caribbean fleet and today we have the very special privilege of being in a grand suite sitting down on the opportunity to learn a little bit more about Royal Caribbean's technology. Thank you so much for joining. Why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone at home on what, who you are and what you do with Royal Caribbean. Sure, thanks for having me and welcome to Wonder of the Seas. Um, I'm Jay Schneider, I'm our Chief Product Innovation Officer. I really have two jobs. Um, I focus on the digital transformation of the technology you find in our ships as well as the physical transformation of our ships as well. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Jay, so much for sitting down with us and giving us the opportunity to hear some uh, behind the scenes and some upcoming things with Royal Caribbean and their fleet. I always find it fascinating to learn what's coming ahead and how we can learn more of what's coming on these beautiful ships. So many things to learn. So why don't we start off by telling me uh, a little bit about how our vacation experience has changed since possibly pre-pandemic to pandemic to, you know, living with it and moving forward. I'm thinking about right when we get on the ship with boarding. I know there's some big changes that have happened. Yeah, listen, we want you to get on vacation and enjoy yourself as fast as humanly possible. The last thing you want to do is spend time stuck in a terminal, going through checklists and paper and figuring it out, right? Um, we've heard from our guests over the years that they want their first day back. They didn't feel like they're on vacation until day two, and you can feel that when you go on vacation. And so we really focused on two things. One, making it as easy as possible for you to check in and get from what we call car to bar in less than 10 minutes. And then number two, once you're on board, the traditional cruise experience has been you get on, you, you drop your luggage off, you start to work your way to a bar to have a margarita, and then we shut down the ship and make you go to a <laughs> mustard drill. So reinventing the mustard drill for us was huge because we wanted you to be able to drop your luggage off and really just start your vacation and muster at your own leisure. And so the two of those we think really give you your first day back. And mm -hmm. our, our guests say that, that that's what it feels like to them. Right. The pandemic has created some extra speed bumps, as you can imagine, um, but we still are working towards making sure we're car to bar in 10 minutes and you're just off and running on your vacation. I love that phrase, car to bar, anything that rhymes, is, that's catchy. I wonder if, you know, because it was such a pain point, to be honest, previously having to drop your drink and go spend an hour and then wait, you know, for crowded elevators to, for everyone to disperse. I wonder if it's gonna be one of those things that we look back on and be like, back in my day, we had to do a real muster and just, you know, the advancement's fantastic. So I love that. And I, it is such a great thing. Watch the video on your phone, go get the demonstration. It's beautiful. And bring your margarita with you to the muster station. <laughs> You're it's funny, a... Our guests have said, and we look, we, we pay attention to this. We look at research, you know, we're, we're checking out every sort of angle of it. Um, and the fascinating thing is it actually makes you safer uh, because the likelihood of you remembering more in a kind of casual conversation with somebody mm -hmm. than in a mass room with somebody shouting at you is very different. Your recall is better. So oh, it's, that's interesting. It's, you, you, it's safer as a mm -hmm. result. You're happier. Um, and it's un uninterrupted fun. You're, you're just enjoying yourself. Yeah, it makes sense though too for those mustard drills that were outside and you're like hot and sweaty and you're just, get me out of here and you're not right. even listening or you can't hear. So that that's beautiful. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about some other type of app advancements since you can do the muster through your phone and getting right onto the ship. What other type of app features, you know, we come onto the ship and we already have it downloaded. What are some of the next things to really ease into your vacation? We want you to maximize your vacation. That's the whole idea. We don't want you to have to rely on technology to just enjoy yourself, but it's there as a really a multifaceted tool for you. So it's everything from your check-in process, getting your VAX card uploaded if you're if, if you're vaccinated, do, getting your passport in there, your security selfie, all of those things that traditionally you've had to do that are kind of the onboarding onto a cruise. Uh, and the vast majority of our guests use them and use them with ease. Your muster drill you already mentioned, you can do your video. Um, you have full access to the cruise compass, so everything going on every day, um, pre-arrival and on board. Um, the best thing is paper is stale the second it's printed. The stuff is always up to date. Um, you can book pretty much everything. So mm -hmm. whether it's a dinner reservation, a show, um, uh, you can get information on spa times, menus, all of that's available. All at your fingertips. At your fingertips. Um, we've worked really hard to make sure you have reminders. You mm. know, so The push notifications? Push notifications, yep, and reminders. 
Now, when you heart it, right? And then it says, oh, coming up in like 15 minutes. Anything you've got booked will automatically remind you that it's booked in 15 minutes, oh, which is really great. I've had guests come up to me and say that's one of the best things ever because they're often stuck on the, not stuck, they're enjoying themselves. We're in on vacay the pool deck. mode. Yeah, they're in vacation <laughs> mode. They'll get, a, they'll get a reminder that they have to be at dinner in 15 minutes and mm -hmm. they're sitting at the lime and coconut having a margarita and it's time for them to get back to their room change. Yeah. Hopefully dinner. it's not formal night when that happens that's so they're exactly not. Right. <laughs> Not um, rushing too much. I love that. But what about um, for those who are not as technology advanced? You know, you mentioned like not having to be tied to it like a ball and chain in a sense. But if you are struggling with it or you're very old school and perhaps you want to just lock your phone in your safe, what are the alternatives? We still have the paper, so which you said it might be, you know, as, as you said, you know, outdated still. in a sense of you know, a couple hours if it, something changes, but do they just link up with someone in their party who might be, um, you know, more technology advanced to have that? Or what do you suggest? You know, it's interesting. Um, I get this question a lot. Uh, and it's often this notion that folks after a certain age just don't want to engage with technology. And the reality mm -hmm. is one of the things that we learned as we studied it um, was folks who were engaging pre-arrival, mm -hmm. it was like 99% of boomers were checked in through the app ah. prior to boarding. For Gen Xers, it was <laughs> 92 to 94% pre-arrival. Uh -huh. It was millennials, and millennials were at like 83%. <laughs> and so the group you that often know why that you're, is? you're because they wanted their own terms. Yes, right? so, exactly. So honestly, fascinating. It was, um, uh, if you think about it, um, the industry largely, and we were a victim of this too, shut off check-in two days ahead of time. Oh. Used to. Now you can check in essentially up to boarding. And oh, so really? It's that close? It's that close. Oh, I thought it was like 24 hours nope. was still the check-in. It's oh, now okay. essentially right up to boarding. Um, That's great because so, I'm a last minute gal. <laughs> and most millennials are. And yeah. so as a result, <laughs> as we've done that, um, as we've returned to operation, every ship is coming with that kind of convenience. Mm -hmm. And we've noticed then millennials catch up because they're doing it last minute. I'm not a millennial, but I'm also a last minute person. And mm -hmm. so I'm that group in Gen X doing it the last minute. Mm -hmm. um, and it's made it really easy. And that's because you're trained by airlines, which you do much more frequently to do it right up until you're walking into the terminal. And so yeah. we want to make it that easy for you. So that's one. Number mm -hmm. two is it, the app isn't the only place to get information. There's right. information throughout the ship, the um, board signage, your TV has information mm -hmm. on it. And if for some reason you lock your phone in your car, you can actually complete your muster video on your TV in your stateroom as well. So it's Beautiful. not like you're limited just to the app. Mm -hmm. um, you can do it with the TV. And if you miss both, you can, we'll talk you through it in a more individual way. Mm -hmm. down the so and one thing I really like though too is that like, if I'm traveling and say, I don't like technology and I want to lock my phone in my safe, say whoever I'm traveling with, they, if we're in the same stateroom, they can book those like show reservations and dining reservations for me because we're on the same folio. And I think that is really uh, helpful as well. So it's like, if just one person can kind of navigate, you know, a reservation, then you can couple yourself together. And we still offer. That's exactly right. And we still offer, um, you can still dial, pick up the phone and call and get a dining reservation. You can stop by a specialty restaurant and get it. We're here to help mm -hmm. make your vacation And amazing. then of course too, like since we are in a grand suite, I'm sure with some of these suite level perks, you know, you always have someone who can help you here too. Uh, you know, your, you your genies and, and your everything yeah, to, right. to help you out too. So if you're really wanting someone to, to help your every needs, those are options as well. So let's move a little aside from the app and talk specifically about the wonder itself are there any specific uh you know technology wonders i know it's so incredible to think about how specifically for lack of better words incredible it is to build a ship during a pandemic so many challenges let's hear about that and how maybe technology helped build the biggest boldest ship in the world during a really challenging time yeah it's a really great question you know there's a couple things we do in our ship our new build team designs in a 3d virtual cave um so everything that we want to see about a ship we can actually walk the ship virtually that's so neat while it's being designed and built so is this like when you go in the mall and you see those 3d machines that you go pay and you sit in and you wear the 3d goggles yeah but without the 3d goggle because the entire room is a big it's oh. immersive 3D kind of room that you're in. Wow. Yeah. That's one thing. Um, 
And so that really allows us to see the design changes as the new build team is building them. Um, and so it's, it's a fascinating way to do ship design because you really can walk a ship and feel immersed in it. Mm -hmm. And it looks real. Thousands of miles away from the actual ship being built. Incredible. That's one thing. The second thing, this is one of the ships that had a virtual delivery, which means we were not necessarily in standing on the ship, which mm -hmm. we normally do to take ownership of the vessel. And that's a pandemic challenge that we've had. Um, the pandemic created a bunch of supply chain challenges for us. Right. If you've been on an Oasis class ship before uh, and you've gone into the boardwalk, you typically see the story of the evolution of the carousel, which is the wooden horses. Oh, yeah. If you go to the boardwalk on this ship, it'll feel weird. It's a missing. Oh. Um, and it's coming. We just yeah. had supply chain challenges like mm -hmm. the rest of the world has. And so the horses are, are, are not there yet. Uh, and so there are a few things. We'll have missing. to come back. <laughs> yeah, a reason for you to come back, right? That quick question, uh, maybe a little off topic, but I was told that my daughter rode the carousel, and I was told that the horses look different. Um, is this just something that is? I don't know. I know it's not technology really focused, but like the horses are smaller and they look kind of different than. The is that just the design? Are slightly different because we had a different um, carousel vendor, and actually all oh. of the the. Um, uh, art around the carousel is different as well. Oh, okay. All of our car carousels are slightly different. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll notice us continuing to tinker with the, the evolution. Carousels. You don't like it because I had a five year old on the other day and she couldn't get off of it. Well, you know, she's only two. So she had a That's very it. serious face. She just wrote it and was like a stone of like what's happening. You know, awesome. she wasn't like gleeful. Uh, maybe we'll have to try it again and see if we can get a smile. <laughs> At two years, do you allow her to go to Sugar Beach right next door, or do you try to keep her away from that? Uh, you know, I'm a bit of a, a sugar fiend, so yeah. I, I'll let her have a little. We did have a cake pop at lunch today, and that was scrumptious. She did like that. <laughs> they have little um, cake balls that are amazing uh, mm. at Sugar Beach. Check them out. Next stop. There you go. <laughs> Any other specifics for Wonder in uh, yeah, you wanted so that? We, we've got three different types of technology, right? We've mm -hmm. got guest-facing technology, whether it's the app, whether it's stateroom automation. If you're in a suite, you have the ability to set scenes, whether it's on your phone mm -hmm. or physical. Mood lighting. Wall, mood lighting. There's a sleep scene, a movie scene, an adjustable. Now, is any of that on like a timer or do you just do it through the app of like turning it on and turning it off? Both. You can do it through the app. Mm -hmm. um, you control your whole statement through the app or you can do it on the, the digital display on the side of the wall. Wow, that's so cool. It's all seamlessly connected together. Yeah, these rooms are absolutely gorgeous here though to so see the technology in the room and how beautiful the, the design and decor is. We'll see if we can get some room tours for you to share that as well. Uh, but specifically uh, getting into the rooms. I know there's some technology involved, maybe coming down the pipeline with opening the keys. Yeah, we're, we're constantly innovating on our, our stateroom and our technology throughout our ships. And so um, prior to the pandemic, we've, we've patented a, um, facial recognition boarding as, as part of the arrival experience that we were challenged with that as we think of people wearing masks into our terminals. And so hmm. we paused that Really changes rollout. the way, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really does change the way how you think about it. We will bring that back mm -hmm. um, in the coming months and years. Um, but we've also expanded that and we continue to iterate on a facial recognition stateroom door. It's one of the patents we as a company hold. Cool. Um, with the whole idea, just making it easier for your room to recognize you when you're there and just seamlessly let you into your room. Hello, Alana. Welcome <laughs> to your cabin. That's exactly right. <laughs> I love that. Well, is there anything else that you wanted to add? We, maybe something behind the scenes technology wise that isn't guest facing that you can just wander about of how cool that is? Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool tech you don't see. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of amazing guest tech and there's crew technology to help the crew do the same things you're doing. So our crew all do their boarding materials digitally at this point, whether it's their contract, their their um, travel information, all that's done uh, virtually as well. Oh, okay. And then there's crew tech you don't see that actually helps you, the guest, on a regular basis. And so we've got a tool called our stateroom attendant app. Uh, and the real genius, I guess, if you want to think about that, is there is so much data that we know about you, the guest, that sits on this ship somewhere, um, <laughs> making it easier for them to do their job um, because it's such an important role to help you have an amazing vacation. Um, we've aggregated that data so that they know when you're not in your stateroom so they can take care of your stateroom for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's little things like that to make their job so that they can use their time to focus on 
personal attention and providing you know, great vacation for you. Right. It kind of goes back to anticipating your needs before you really know you have a need because, exactly you know, your stateroom attendant will know if you're on or off the ship and then they can say, you know what, if you forget like the do not disturb sign, they can anticipate of whether or not, you know, this might not be a good time. They're That's still right. on the ship. I'm trying to get my daughter down for a nap or something like that. And trying to, pers I mean, they do such a great job personalizing the vacation for you, but they put a lot of sweat and energy into it. So trying to make it easier for them to focus on that personalization just yeah. gives you a better vacation. Well, thank you so much for giving us the walkthrough here of the app and on the ship and behind the scenes. It's really a wealth of knowledge and I find it fascinating to hear these nuggets of knowledge of at the advancement and how everything is moving forward. And, you know, just like the horses uh, from the carousel, we're, we're progressing and advancing. I think that's so beautiful. I can't wait to see what's coming with uh, the next new the ships next ship. and yeah. how it'll just blow our mind and be even bolder than ever. I'm going to encourage you guys to check out these other videos as well from the Wonder of the Seas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again Thank so you. much and until next time, ciao for now.